Hi, Van here with Minnesota to Mexico. Just letting you see my hair. Took a shower, ran my fingers through it. And this is what it does. Oh, I love short hair. Went and uh, got a little bit of aloe vera. And you cut off the little side part. Let's see. Cut off those little sides and then you slice open or you run along the center. And then it's icky, slimy, gross stuff. You know how that is. But uh, it's good sanitizer for your hands. And the gel inside is good for your face, pimples, and dry skin. It's an amazing plant, actually. Oh, um, I was uh, was kind of concerned about Sophie. Stay here. My uh, thermostat regulator in my body and uh, I realized I hadn't been taking my thyroid pill and so I thought well why was I taking the thyroid pill you know I mean sometimes the doctors just give it to you and don't really tell you why and uh, Went into a couple different sites and came to find out that uh, the thyroid regulates your internal temperature, helps regulate. So, I'm back taking my pill, which is a good thing because apparently, you know, according to the doctors, I needed it. But my skin was really dry. Um, but that's never been a big concern to me. And then another symptom was, um, which I didn't realize, was when you, I had been talking and sometimes my voice just gets really weird, like real deep and gravelly and stuff. And I guess that's another symptom of your vo voice goes hoarse. Uh, okay. So, like I said, I'm, I'm back taking the thyroid. It's a whole lot cheaper than the United States. <laughs> and I didn't need to go to the doctors or anything because I just had a pill and I gave it to the pharmacist and she just took it and gave me what I needed. So there's certain things about Mexico I really like. Um, according to the government today, and I don't know if it's local, if it's just the city, I don't know if it's the entire state of Sinaloa, or if it's the entire country of Mexico, but it's uh, been declared that there's no alcohol sales anymore, anywhere from any place you could normally buy it from. So there's gonna be a, quite a few people hurting for certain for a while here until they get detoxed. And of course, Mexicans, like everyone who's resourceful, well, it's not just Mexicans. I mean, if you want something bad enough, you'll find a way to get it. Um, I don't listen to the news much. First off, it, they don't know what they're talking about. I mean, they talk, but you got one person saying one thing and you got the other person saying another thing and they're talking about the same thing but totally different opposites. It's weird. It's really weird. And I really feel for people who are just glued to the, the TV or, the, or wherever they're getting any news from because it just must be awful. It's confusing. It's it's just 
they don't know. They don't know. You know, and it's like, when's all this going to end? Well, nobody knows. Uh, right now, they're trying to take the bandage off of a wound slowly because they just don't want to rip the sucker off and get the pain done with right away. So that, you know, that gradual, ow, 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 you know, and then, then you get tired of hearing them go, ow, 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 and you stick it back on and start the process over again. It's, wow, this is just nuts. Um, I have to say that I'm glad we're in Mexico. I have to say we're not anywhere where the populace is like panicking. We're not anywhere where there's a multitude of people standing in line. We're not in any kind of crowded area. Uh, I haven't been out of the house or our complex for I don't know how long. So actually my head is, it's like, well, I'm getting by, you know. It's kind of like, you know, pray to God us for and no more. But, you know, when you're supposed to be self-isolating and you do it, you're pretty isolated. So, or you're supposed to be. And the fact that I don't listen to the news and I don't listen to all the doom and gloom and the reports and every time you... You, you even touch to see if they've um, figured out something. It's, uh, you, there's been no figuring out except we don't know. And we've been under the I don't know for weeks. And because it's new, nobody knows. There isn't an answer. There can't say, well, it'll be over next week. We've got enough dead people, or we've got enough cases, or it's curved, or it's flattened out, or it's going higher, or it's, you know, you may have got it, and you may get it again. I mean, wow, you know, that's, that's just not, not exactly what most people want to hear, and um, we want definitive answers to something that's not definitive. So we just, we just rely on God, take care of us. We're doing what we can do in the natural. You take care of what you can do in the spiritual. We're on your side, God. And I'm not going to worry myself sick. That's what a lot of people do. They worry themselves sick. Uh, I just continue doing what we do. And I, I'm just, I, I'm sorry. We are, and I'm hoping, I'm believing there's a lot of other people that you can go out, sit in their yard uh, somewhere on their stoop, just sit, be able to sit outside, get some sun, get some fresh air, wave to the neighbor or, you know, the, just get out and about because, uh, the sun, it's a natural disinfectant, antibody, something or other that's good for you. So it's good for the mind, it's good for the flesh, your skin flesh. You know, clean air because all the pollution's gone, helps. So, but anyway, just giving you a little, oh, sorry. <laughs> giving you a little update, letting you know we are doing good. We hope you're doing good. Uh, God's a big God. And uh, stay safe. And just believing with everybody else that this ends quickly. And we can get on to a better, more productive, different normal, a better normal when this is all done. So we'll talk to you later. And... Uh, We'll see you when we see you. Bye-bye. Love you all.